check it out guys I got quality this here is the match against a random guy from Serbia actually named Mac and I hate Mac so I really want to beat him he's off of Rose Raid I go for the fake out he goes into Zong pretty standard stuff I taunt it because that's what I do to Zongs and then switch out on that thing going to my Rotom because Zong can't do anything to Rotom and he goes into a Yan Mega and projects see what I'm gonna do I go for the discharge pretty obvious and he stays in here and air slaps him so I'm like oh gosh I'm gonna get some bad kid <laughs> who just started cause why would you air slash I think I wrote him but he gets a flinch so he gets away with that which sucks for me cause I would like to discharge that thing early and in comes the Salamence I do that amount no para hacks I go into scissor he goes to the Draco Meteor and I also wanted to see how much the Draco Meteor would do to Scizor and it does a lot it does about half so yeah Scizor is not the best thing to go into in those situations Salamence is a beast anyway he blocks the bullet punch of Skarm and I am looking to get out of there I go into my Azelf which looks like it should be able to cause a lot of problems for his team so I, I'm keeping that in mind that Azov is important but he has this Tyranitar to counter it yeah and I can't touch Tyranitar really I was really af afraid of the pursuit here but I can't do anything to it anyway so I might as well but he doesn't go for the pursuit he goes for the dragon dance and I realized that this team is pretty Tyranitar weak I can't handle a, a really fast Tyranitar very well with his team except for this scissors bullet punch which does a lot but he is able to take me out with an earthquake I think I could have survived that if it was at full health though I'm pretty sure anyway going to Tatsui which is really the best thing I have that's showing you because <laughs> I wasn't even sure if that would kill so that shows you how badly this team handles their answer. Yup. He goes back into this rose. I predicted the sleep powder, but I don't want anything else to be asleep more. So I get the avalanche off when he misses. Yup. Just stay in. Take the sleep powder. Go to sleep. I know this is a big move coming up here. I thought he was trying to start setting up the spikes. So I go into Azelf, but he goes for the sludge bomb, and that was huge because Azelf destroys his team. This Azelf destroys his team at least. And no, it's pretty much dead. Especially with the sandstorm and everything. So I just wasted it. I predicted to switch into Salamence there, but no, he just stays in. So that was horrible. Now I know he's gonna protect here, so I save that self for later. He doesn't have self rocks up, so if it doesn't come in on a turn that's already in progress, it can still attack. Right, Rotom's in. Rotom walls this thing to hell. He withdraws, sends in the Zong. And I really don't have much for Zong at all. I have nothing that can do some major damage to it really. Without setting it first at least. Well, even so, I have nothing. I'm going to SAR to set up on this thing, because I think that's the best thing I have to do. Mm-hmm. So I go for the sub here. Thinking he might explode or something, I don't know. So he just sets up the reflect, too. And I see him. He rocks. So there's the self drops and Azelf is now officially useless, only as fodder. So he saves that thing for later and goes into Skarm as I finally go for my sleep powder. I predicted the switch there and I almost hit Sludge Bomb but it's a good thing I didn't. So now I waste the sub and switch out, go into Rotom. And he withdraws himself, goes into Salamence. So it'll, oh, I just realized that it would have been sweet if I had stayed in. 
Cause I can handle Salamence like a sludge bomb nothing to death. Ah, oh, that would have made the game very different if I had stayed in there. This guy is curious, anyway. <laughs> I guess he thought he had only a grass move, so he would be he would be safe there. Anyway, I predict the Dra Draco Meteor going to Tatsu. Mm -mm -mm. Not going to Rotom predicting the earthquake, but he roosts, and that's a headache, really. So yeah, I'm just here trying to deal with this thing. It switches out, and goes back into the bronze on as I discharge, and all I can really do is stay in here and start hacking away at this bronze on because I have to get rid of it somehow. And I, I'm pretty sure his last move is explosion, so can't do anything to me. I mean, what else would it be? What could hurt me? So I'm safe in here. Unfortunately, I can't take it out before he sets up his screens once more. Now this is funny. Boom! <laughs> he just says, ah, fuck it. I'm gonna go away. And yeah. That's how that happened. He really just wasted an explosion. But that's fun. So, into Salamence. I fought her off as elf. He goes for the earthquake here, predicting Empoleon. Now I send in my sack to scare him off. I know he's going to switch out, so I double switch, going to roll him. Predicting the obvious Skarm to come in, and I was right. So he switches out, goes into Yan Mega. As I use Light Screen. Kind of for Salamence's Draco Meteor and stuff. She starts hacking away and he gets a crit on Rotom, but that actually served me because I went for the pain split. So I get major damage on him, kind of. And I'm a little bit better off than how I was at the beginning of this turn. Yep, he's just air slashing. Just hacking away. Discharge make barely lets it survive. But the sandstorm is gonna finish it. And it's salamence again. So yeah, I going to duck suit. He goes for the fire blast. Still sweeping as I go for the aqua jet to get a little bit of damage on it. And he earthquakes me to take me out. And my light screen wears off. And I go into Venusaur because the only Pokemon he has left is Skarm and Venusaur can't do a thing to Skarm really. So I figure I might as well try to get a Sludge Bomb on it. No. But that doesn't work out. So now I'm going to Satsara. And I predict to switch into Skarm but I think I still went for the Fake Out to be really safe. I didn't want to, yeah, in case he did decide to stay in it for some reason. And here is important, because I predicted his switch into Salamence. Because if he switched into Salamence there, and I had switched into Rotom to take on Skarmor, he would have certainly won. Yes, but if I had gone to switch into Rotom and he stayed in with Skarmory, I would have, I would have almost certainly won, because I can take out... 
Skarm, or Salamence on a switch with a discharge, and then I can take out Salamence with with Ambipom. So I either underestimated him or overestimated him there. I'm thinking it was overestimated, but I don't know. And that pretty much sealed it, him not switching out. Because really and truly, if he predicted me to me to switch into Rotom, the good move would have been going into Salamence. And yeah, so that's the end of that. So what do you guys think of that? Was I evenly matched with my opponent skill-wise? Was he a bit worse, but his team was really well suited to handling mine? Um, what could I have done differently? What should I have done differently? Leave a comment below and see you later. Bye.